So we're going to do a quick little demo of uh, installation of a Solar Nexus system. I've got this Solar Nexus rigged as my show model. It's a fully plug and play version uh, for demonstration purposes. I have a small battery and a small PV array with all the main components including the combiner box and a heavy gauge wire uh, that would be appropriate for a larger array. And I'll just show you the main connections that do need to happen in an installation. This would be securely, the Nexus would be securely fastened to a wall surface, a vertical surface. Um, it's got pre-wired battery cables that are coming out of it. These are red and black for a positive and negative. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to hook her up. Um, this little battery doesn't have real big hardware but it's got uh, bolts get a good tight connection there and try not to drop anything through the deck go batteries connected so with the trimetric is showing voltage and we've got power to the Nexus um, we could go ahead and run our load if we turn on your shot up here um, turn on the inverter so let's see yeah we got 12.8 volts uh, inverter is powered up and so with this fully plug and play one we've got AC output right here this is a European 230 volt 50 Hertz receptacle this is a UK style receptacle but uh, we'd be ready to plug in our loads if we we're ready to go um, so on the PV side let me just show the back here I've got this one rigged like I said before with the plug and play connector so this is a polarized Anderson connector for heavy gauge wire to illustrate that for larger PV arrays you do need pretty big wire to overcome voltage drop for long distance transmission. This is number four uh, wire, American wire gauge. And so I've got my PV array also on number four in the same kind of polarized connector. All I have to do then to hook the PV array, plug those two together in the back. And that is going so we can turn on the PV breakers. It's hard to see the lights, but we've got green LEDs all around, and we've got a charging indicator there on array number one. Let's go over here to the array on the rail. So then this is showing the PV combiner box. And like I said, this is a micro version for a show demonstration model. But I do have two panels in parallel here. And so the combiner is for bringing together panels in parallel. You've got small, relatively small wire from each of the modules that plug in here to the combiner. And then you have large gauge wire, which makes the, the longer distance run to the nexus from this combiner. Um, these are fully plug and play connectors right here, but not all systems would use those. And, Typically, if you're this close to the panels, you would just run the connectors from the panels right inside the, com the combiner and land those on the bus bars inside here. Uh, there's a little wiring diagram inside the combiner. I don't know if you can see that. But that's it. So we're making power. The sun is uh, charging the batteries. Probably not a whole lot. But uh, yeah, half an amp or so right now with, with uh, no load. So, if we had more panels and more sun, we'd be making more power. But as it is, it's working. The whole system is together. And how long did that take? A couple of minutes, and we're in business here off grid electricity. Thanks for watching.